What is going on guys, this is Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons here in the Jungle Awakens DLC. Now last time we left off, we had a bunch of new awesome stuff, but uh, between this episode and last episode, I actually did the Dingy Jungle again at Adventure 5 difficulty. And I got a really good amount of stuff off camera, and I actually used that footage, or at least like the first like 25-30 minutes or something like that of that footage, for my uh, July 2020 channel update video as like background footage, so if you guys want to see some of that, you can go check that out. But, what I actually got was some really good stuff. I wanted to do that one at a higher difficulty, uh, I think I, I might have died once during that, or just not at all, I can't remember, that's been like a week or so ago since I recorded that. But as you can see, we have new gauntlets now that have 47 to 85 damage compared to our old ones that did 32 to 58, and the enchantments over here aren't really too crazy, like there's looting over here and then there's Prospector, and then there's leeching, which is great. I like that. And then there's chains there. Now, if there was a third enchantment there, a third enchantment there, that'd be great. Because over here, we have some really good enchantments in the form of the fire aspect, the shockwave. And then, of course, our current uh, weapon right now is this whip over here that has leeching two, shockwave three. I don't know what that was last time. I don't know if I upgraded that between this episode and last episode, but yeah, they're amazing right now. It's crazy good. <laughs> but... I don't know if I'm going to end up using these gauntlets right here. I, I, I kind of wish I had a better one. And then I ended up getting this. The unique version of the gauntlets, I'm pretty sure. The Maulers. 56 to 101 melee damage increased in attack speed. Relentless combo. These claw-like weapons wielded by ancient Illager soldiers are savage in battle. And down here we have Fire Aspect, Committed, and Prospector. I think that's the one where we uh, like damage the same enemy like over time. Yeah, increased damage to uh, already wounded enemies. So 0 to 50% bonus damage, 0 to 75, and then 0 to 100. I did get a comment pretty recently on one of the episodes saying, hey, you should stop looking like at the at the first tier upgrade and start looking at like the third tier upgrade. That way you have, you know, you'll know how good it is once it's fully maxed out and uh, not really judge it based on just the first one, you know? So I should definitely like the critical hit over here, especially for something like Maulers slash Gauntlets. Critical hit could be really, really good, you guys. But... We also have Radiance on this, too, and Exploding, but, like, Exploding, eh, I don't know if I really want to do that, because it only happens whenever they get killed, not, like, every time I punch with these things, which is kind of the point of these these gauntlets here, right? But Radiance has a 20% chance to spawn in a circular area and heals allies in it. That can be really powerful. 73 health healed, compared to doing triple damage with a 20% chance to trigger if we get Tier 3 on that one. Now, remember, it's going to be a lot more expensive right off the bat. 2 in chance to do uh, Tier 1, 3 for tier 2 and then 4 to do tier 3 compared to uh I'm probably going to end up doing fire aspect again 101 damage per second for 3 yes 3 seconds so 303 damage over time just by punching something once <laughs> that's pretty good damage right there you guys committed though I don't know and then prospect are like I don't really care too much about the emeralds like I always end up like look at that I've got 2000 emeralds right now <laughs> I always get so many emeralds, I just I just don't even pay attention to it. So I don't think we need something like Prospector that like gives us more emeralds whenever we kill stuff, right? So probably going to end up getting Fire Aspect there. And then over here, it's going to be between Radiance and, oh, whoops, Critical Hit. So with a 10% and then 15 and then 20% chance to do a uh, triple damage. And with the, with the weapon speed like the Maulers, which I think has the same speed as the Gauntlets, right? Yep, they're just the same. It's just a unique variant to that, which is really cool. And then we have a 20% chance just right off the bat for Radiance, but it's always going to be 20%. And then just the healing goes up, so... Is Radiance a better choice here? Or would I rather have the ability to do triple damage in, in that aspect, like 303 damage, if I do the combo, or 168? Would that be just doing some quick maths? 56 times 3? If I did a triple damage with just a regular attack here. Uh, is that really worth that, though? I'm like, I, like, like I said, whenever we enchanted this whip, I really like how we have a healing thing and a, uh, a, a an offensive sort of thing right there to do some damage, you know, dealing damage to enemies and then healing myself up right there. I may do the same thing with these maulers over here and do the fire aspect for the whole damaging enemies thing and then radiance to heal myself up. That's probably what we're going to end up doing, but do I want to replace that whip? with the Maulers, because, like, the reach of this thing is crazy good. The shockwave of it's amazing. 89 damage on top of the 127 happens every time because it's a whip and it always does, you know, the quote-unquote combo. Man, I don't know. And then we have the Firebolt Thrower. I don't know if I had this. I think it, yeah, I think it's new. You guys probably remember from uh, last episode if I had this or not, but 
It does 208 range damage. It takes the same amount of ammo as the other exploding bow. So, uh, of course, it takes, like, way more ammo. But it does exploding on impact damage, a chain reaction, a chance of a chain reaction, and I haven't even enchanted it yet. So we have Tempo Thief, Gravity, Radiant Shot Power, and Punch over here. So we can, we can upgrade that thing pretty substantially. But uh, if I wanted to, I could just use the Hunting Bow, you know, and get supercharged, chain reaction, all that kind of stuff. And, and not use, like, three times more arrows compared to this thing, right? I guess. If I, if I have the patience. So, I guess I'll equip that for right now. Also, got some mystery armor, which is crazy. 444 health, plus 20% weapon damage boost aura, and 30% chance to negate hits similar to this. But we have no damage reduction. It just gives us a weapon damage boost aura, which this one does not. Yeah, this one does, this one does not. And it doesn't have any damage reduction. But it has a little bit more health. A hundred, uh, 103 more health, actually. And where are the enchantments? We have thorns, swift-footed, gravity pulse. Thorns are electrified. Ooh. So I could do up to 296 damage right there with the electrified. Or with thorns, I could do 200% damage return. Hmm. I love thorns. And we never really got to try out electrified in a fair, like, situation. Because we... we had like a level 30 something armor going into a level 50 heckin' maps, right? So, of course, the Electrify wasn't really doing too much damage. And then, of course, over here we have Gravity Pulse Blast occurs every five seconds that you pulls enemies towards you. I don't think we had that before. That sounds interesting. Although, it, I don't know. If I have Gravity Pulse and Thorns, that could just kind of help kill them, maybe? I don't know. Or we could have basically the opposite. It makes me move faster for three seconds while rolling, or after rolling. I don't know, the enchantments for that aren't too crazy. We also have Ember Rope. I don't know if I had that last episode or not, but... Plus 381 health, burns nearby enemies, negative 25% artifact cooldown, and plus 15% move speed aura. Recycler, si uh, speed synergy, and fire trail. Gravity Pulse, Final Shout, and Protection. Final Shout was, uh, yeah, health below 25%. All the artifacts are used, ignoring cooldown periods. Hmm. And then, of course, Protection, which is great. It's just, just straight up just Protection, you know? So 15%. Damage taken when it's fully maxed out there. But on this tier one, I'd probably end up going with like fire trail. So we'd have the fire aura around us and then fire trail that does uh four seconds. So we could do up to 416 damage. If like an enemy is like constantly in our fire trail for that whole four seconds with 104 uh, fire damage per second. But it starts out at 35. So yeah, that's quite that it jumps quite a lot. That's why I kept that in my inventory, too. And then, of course, over here we have Reinforced Mail, which is basically the same thing as this one. It's just that this one has double thorns, which is crazy. So I could have thorns here, or protection, or double thorns. I don't know if it stacks and does 400% damage return to enemies or what, but uh, if I'm going to have thorns, it probably makes sense to have some protection on top of that, right? So that's why I kept it in my inventory, because I was like, you know what? Do I want to have thorns and protection? To kind of like, kind of like what we had over here with our uh, weapons. To kind of have a, an offensive and a defensive sort of thing. Defensive for healing us up, offensive for this uh, shockwave to do damage. We could have the same thing with that armor up here for offensive with thorns, defensive with protection. Unlike our current armor situation where it's like both defensive, potion barrier and protection. But the thing is, we have so many enchants. 12 enchants into there, 12 enchants into there. If we go over here and enchant it, the only th other thing we have that has uh, enchants are the gauntlets over here, where I'm, which I'm probably going to get rid of so we can enchant the, uh, the maulers, so... Let's just do that, because they are pretty outdated by now. So there you go, we have five... Oh, wait. Oh, yep, there you go, it takes a second to kick in. So we have five enchants now, so we can get the, uh... Radiance, I think we're going to do. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll do, uh, Fire Aspect. So, there you go. And we can afford to get Fire Aspect 2 to go up to 84 damage per second. We need three enchants to go up to 55 health healed there, so we'll worry about that here in the future, perhaps. But, uh, for right now, uh, maybe even after we get rid of those, uh, that whip right there, you guys, golly. Oh yeah, why'd I keep this one? This other whip over here. Oh yeah, because it's higher level than that one, does more damage. 164 melee damage compared to 127, but the enchantments aren't really anything too crazy. Thundering there, which is pretty interesting, that's what we had on the hammer. Fire aspect, double fire aspect, critical hit. But no, no like, defensive sort of thing here to like, heal me up, so... That's why I really didn't get rid of this one and switch it out for that one, you know? But, uh, the, these maulers, I definitely want to test them out. We have two enchants left, I don't know if I'm going to enchant those maulers or, uh... End up doing, like, thorns here and then protection here. Oh, yeah, protection's a, uh, powerful, so I can't do that one just yet. But that potion berry, I love that. It gives us basically invincibility for, like, seven seconds after taking a potion. And would that be better than thorns and protection? I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it for right now. And, uh, hopefully we get, like, a level 50 armor, right? 
But in terms of uh, all the enchanted stuff, yeah, that's all of it right there, you guys. Unless I get rid of the hunting bow over here, which uh, is still pretty viable. Like, like the damage output of this thing with full pullback and supercharge on top of it is like 260-something. So still better than an explosive one over here. And it takes way less ammo. So that's why I'm keeping it there. Artifacts, though? I don't know if I got any new artifacts. Oh, yeah, I did get the totem of regeneration at the very end, opening up that obsidian chest at the end of uh, doing that one level again. So that's really good. 256 health healed, which is nice. And, uh, you know what? Let's, let's figure out which, uh... I kind of want to get the beacon. Let's get the beacon. I think I used that off camera. Uh, ghost cloak. Yeah, we had that before. That's not new. And then, uh, what else do we want? We have, uh... Do I want to have death cap? That would be amazing for those maulers. Let's try it out. Let's get death cap for the maulers. We have beacon and we have, a uh, love man... Uh, love medallion. Not love mandolin or whatever that be. Jeez, like an instrument. <laughs> but... Yeah, I, I definitely want to keep this thing. This thing seems really powerful, you guys. It's crazy. Anyways, I, I do have 2,000 Hagen Emeralds after cleaning out my inventory. So let's, try, let's buy some artifacts here. So a level power 40 uh, fire wicker right there, which is actually better than our old one right there. Nice. 279 range damage compared to 221. Get rid of that garbage. Hey, duh. And uh, you know what? Let's buy another one. There you go. Let's buy another one. Lightning Rod! Crafted by Illager Ge Geomancers, the guys, I guess, I think they were the ones that spawned the Creeper Totems, right? This item is enchanted with the power of the Storming Sky. Whoa, what? Whoa! 1301 artifact damage? It requires souls, though. You can spend souls to call down a bolt of lightning onto an area. That seems like an insane version of the Harvester. It's even lower level than the Harvester, though. Two second cooldown, four second cooldown, plus one soul gathering. I might... Ah, oh, man. Do I want to get... Let, let, let's get two of those. That way I have plus two soul gathering. And I, I can actually gather more souls and we'll actually be able to use this lightning rod. But holy heck, that seems powerful as butt. Uh, how many emeralds do we have? Like 1,500? No, we still have 1,700. Golly, how many I have before? God. Another totem of shield. Oh, wait, totem of shielding. Is that different from the one we have down here? Oh, yeah, that's the same one. Uh, 6.3 second cooldown and 6.0. So I guess I get rid of the old one. Sure, why not? There you go. I don't know if I'll use that, though, but uh, I don't like it just, it just it blocks projectiles. Let's buy another one. Another light feather. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of that. I don't really care about that one, to be quite honest. Yeah, there it is right there for, uh, yeah, tumble through. Yeah, get rid of that. I don't care. Let's go buy some stuff from the blacksmith now. Let's see what we're going to get from him. Oh, there you go. And... Power 38 Grey Hammer. Let's buy another one. Mystery Armor again. Power 39. I think our current one's in the 40s, so. Power 38 Axe. And a Power 37 Claymore. And 43 Daggers. Ooh. Now, how do those daggers compare to the Gauntlets? We have Gauntlets at Power 41, or 51. The Daggers are at 55 uh, damage. What is the speed? Same speed as the Gauntlets, though. But down here, we have Chain Smiting, Prospector Radiance, Gravity, and Shockwave. Ooh. Now, the daggers, I don't think they have a combo, right? So they're always going to do a Shockwave, just like earlier. Just doubles the heck of damage right there. 55 damage right there. And then, when we get it all the way up to Tier 3 at 111, so these things will do, like, 166 damage. Uh, once I upgrade them there, if I do. But, uh, wow, that's actually pretty heck good there, you guys. Golly. Now, where did I get these gauntlets? Did I just, like, forget about them or something? I guess I get rid of them. There you go. What about the Grey Hammer here? Of course it has Thundering, Looting, Freezing, and Sharpness. I guess I'll get rid of it. And I'm like, it's nothing too crazy. And then an Axe over here, 82 to 126, eh. And then I claim more here, 110 to 196 with Swirling, Fire Aspect, and Leeching. Decent enchantments, but it only has one enchantment, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. I keep the daggers for right now, though. Oh yeah, what about that other armor, though? What was that? Mystery Art. Oh god, yeah, look at how low that is. Our other one was 48, so yeah, get rid of that garbage. I, I, I know I had thorns on the other one, but whatever. What's this have? Another Grey Hammer, that's garbage. Uh, power 45 Cutlass. And Power 37 Scale Mail. Whoa! Is that a unique variant? It's not, it's a common plus 284 health, 30% chance to negate hits, 35% uh, percent damage reduction, and longer cooldown. Same as this. Yeah, same as this, but just gives us less health. Yeah, it's lower level than this one. And only has one enchantment. Speed synergy, potion barrier, or health synergy. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. I do like how it looks though. It's just that, yeah. It's nothing too crazy. Same thing there, honestly. Plus three three seven health. Get rid of three forty one. Enchantments over here. Oh yeah, those that's the other one I had. We already had that one. Power forty one great hammer. 
On a 37 plate armor, I'm gonna get rid of that one right there. Oh! Man, finally we ended up spending all of our Ekin Emeralds right there, you guys. Golly, we're down to 81 Emeralds right there, sheesh. You guys get rid of that one. Uh, food reserves, blah blah blah. Yeah, sure, I don't care about that. And get rid of that hammer, and get rid of this other hammer too. What about that cutlass though? Is that actually decent? Yeah, 87 melee damage, yeah, nothing crazy. Stunning echo shockwave, and get rid of it. There you go. Alright, well, I spent a lot of time here just kind of going over stuff, so I think we might as well just jump right into the next level. We're about to level up actually, which is kind of crazy. But, uh, Dingy Jungle, no, we're not going to be doing that, because we already did that. Uh, oh yeah, this DLC hasn't unlocked it yet, either, but we're going to go over to the Overgrown Temple now, and for some reason it wants me to do Adventure 4 difficulty, but... Maybe we'll do Adventure 5, because we're already used to that, right? We've already unlocked all the, uh, gear drops, there's one artifact we have yet to get, which is kind of crazy. Recommended power 56, we're currently at 44, which is great. 1.5 times difficulty, gear and artifact power 37 to 51, so hopefully we actually get something in the 50s here, which would be really good. Go all the way up to 7 right there, but I don't want to do that. That's recommended power 68, 2.7 times difficulty. 1.5 sounds difficult enough, honestly. I don't, I don't want to have another 3 episode situation with a panda plateau, so... Let's just jump into the overgrown temple. And let's try and find these pieces of the Orb of Dominance. The, the shards or whatever that like got scattered across the world or whatever that lore was, right? The shard fell deep within the jungle, where it spawned a horrible creature. The Jungle Abomination. Whoa. This vile beast cannot be allowed to continue spreading the corruption of the orb. Tread carefully, for these overgrown temples harbor monsters that will fight to protect the source of their newfound power. Interesting looking level here, a little bit different from what we saw on the first level, the dingy jungle, and of course a lot different from the panda one too. Search for the temple! Alright, now remember, we have new artifacts here. Two of them that require souls, and they do give us a uh, soul gathering, so hopefully we actually gather. And I do know- Oh, man, we dominated that thing quick! And we got radiance from it, too. How many- Yeah, like I was about to say, you do get souls from these two, which is great. So that's, that's why I'm killing them. There you go, got that level up I was talking about right there. I guess I could kill this, uh, Ocelot, but it is really good at, like, distracting slash scaring away creepers, whatever you want to call it. Let's try and get up right next to these Skelefellas, but we're actually getting kind of hit from them now. There's a lot of them over there, you guys. I need a lot of souls to actually activate that thing down there, that uh, that, that staff, which is actually kind of interesting. Now, uh, the one I want to get right next to these guys. There you go. If I had that uh, Death Cat Mushroom, that'd be amazing. I'm actually taking some damage over here, you guys. Holy heck, but my Radiance is actually kicking in. Did you guys see that? I healed up a lot of health there, which is awesome. Radiance kicked in again. Nice. Let's kill these uh, skeletons over here, especially this one, where I can constantly attack it. Get some Radiance. Got it right there. Nice. Radiance again. Just regular skeletons over here. Low health, I'm pretty sure. Man, look at me. I'm like a pincushion right now. There's so many fucking arrows inside of me. It's insane. <laughs> Man. I'm actually getting kind of low on health, so I'm going to take that. Got the Potion Barrier activated for another four seconds, which is great. And another Radiance right there, which is great. Yeah, I, I guess this is a good demonstration of, of getting overwhelmed by enemies and stuff with the Gauntlets. I'm like, they're not gauntlets, they're maulers now. But also, showing off how often we get the 20% chance of getting Radiance to heal up like 30 or something like that health. We did just get another level up right there. We have three uh, levels right now. Yeah, or uh, enchant points. I guess we could spend that on maulers over here to get Radiance too. To get to uh, 55 health healed. Or, like if we get 84 damage per second from the fire aspect. That might be better, honestly. Let's get that. There you go. We have one more enchant left over. What am I going to spend it on, if anything? Don't think I'm going to we, we still have only Chain Reaction 1, Chain Reaction, or uh, Speed Charge 2, too. Sheesh, we still have some room to grow on that one, you guys. That's crazy. Oh, we could use the staff now. Honestly, probably should have used it. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Time for the staff. Oh! Okay, that, that, that AOE isn't that big. I thought it'd be a lot of, a uh, lot bigger area than that, but I guess not. Start actually killing the scales, it's not hitting the vines. <laughs> Let's gather ourselves some more, uh, souls here from all these egg creatures, which is really good. Kind of getting overwhelmed, but look at that, we're full health. The Radiance is doing a really good job, you guys. Nice. Shadow Brew right there, we'll grab that here in just a bit. We do have poison right now, so we'll take a little bit of damage over time. And there you go, doesn't matter, because Radiance just kind of healed us up right there. Now we're getting healed up, what was it, Fi oh. 50 or, oh, what in the world? Oh, yeah, I was going up right there, I guess, technically, right? But now we're taking these guys down relatively quickly. I think we might be able to take them down a little bit quickly using, or quicker, using the, uh, the, the whip that we had from last episode, which I think I might have upgraded between this episode and last episode, so it's even better now, but, uh, there you go. But considering these are just, like, maulers slash gauntlets, and that was a whip with really good, uh, range damage, this is really, like, doing a great job, you guys. 
Radiance. I think I made the right choice going with Fire Aspect and Radiance. I'm really liking that, you guys. The only thing about the lightning rod here, though, is that, like, I guess it, it kind of balances that. Oh, yeah, I need to look at the map. Oh, nice, nice. I was actually going uh, the right way over here. There's actually a chest up here I didn't even see. Where is it? Yeah, I still can't even see it. What? Oh, God, it was, like, actually invisible right there. Holy heck. More for me achievement right there. I wonder if that's for getting a certain amount of uh, emeralds. But uh, there's a dead end over here, apparently. Yeah, we have to go across. Whoa. Yeah, those vines look uh, the same. I thought they might have been slightly different. But oh, there you go. Let's try and take this guy down. Yeah, he can't shoot us, but the other one over there, is he even able to shoot? Oh, yeah, I think that other vine's still able to shoot us right there, that poison vine. And he is down. Nice. And we got ourselves some more emeralds there. Anything else over here? Uh, I don't think so, but let's kill these things. Get ourselves some more souls to charge up that uh, that staff. If I want to try and uh, get another situation where we have a bunch of enemies kind of ganged up on us, we'll be able to use that electrified staff. What was it called again, the actual name of it? Lightning Rod. We'll be able to use that thing because it only seems to work in a very tight space around you. It's not really like a huge AoE. Or, you know, oh man, where did this thing come from? Was this here this whole time and I never even saw it? Oh, like, it was kind of blocked by that. Oh, another Shadow Bird right there. Nice. A lot of skeletons over there. 448 damage right there with the Shadow Bird. It does like triple damage, I think, right? Golly, that's good. Anyways, a lot of skeletons over there starting to shoot at me, but we have Radiance from this thing that's starting to heal me up. Let's do this. Yeah, you can actually see the small little area around you where it affects with the lightning. Like, whenever you're summoning in the lightning, you can actually see the area where it's going to strike down. And it's not that big. It's like as big. Oh, uh, TNT right there. Nice. It's only as big as like a, uh, nice, I <laughs> baited him right there. 900 damage from that TNT, nice. It's only as big as like a, a, a fire or a flame or a whatever you want to call that. That's usually around you, you know, so it's not really too big, so. This thing seems crazy. It does a lot of damage in a very tight, confined space. But like for something like a skeleton that aren't really going to be like too close to me, you know. And, oh wait, yeah, okay, it only, it doesn't even do it around you. It, it does it where you like summon it in. I could actually do another one, like, right here. Boom! Did that strike me as well? I don't know if it did or not. Hmm. Feels like it might have, but, uh... We got Radiance from... Oh, nice! Get some Radiance from these vines over here. Nice. And, you know what? I'm gonna use the Beacon now. Because this Beacon is really, really good. It's really powerful. Look at all the heckin' souls it just ate through right there. Holy heck. But we just took down, like, three or four... I don't know, like, two or three armored skeletons right there? So that was pretty good right there, you guys. Nice. It did eat through a lot of souls, though, so we need to watch out make sure it doesn't uh, do that too often, but it does, like, 400 damage per second, right? Yeah, 437. Nice. Really good stuff there, you guys. And we'll get some of the souls back by, you know, just attacking these vines right here, just like I said earlier. It is kind of crazy that those vines drop souls, but I'm like, they seem sentient, I guess you could say? They, they pop up out of the ground, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, but uh, hopefully we get ourselves, like, we're already progressing in a lot in terms of, like, XP. Like, look at that at the very bottom. We just love... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. We have a lot going on right now, you guys. I'm going to... Oh, there you go. Just got rid of all the, you know, a decent amount of regular skeletons right there, which is good and all, but uh, there you go. We're getting ganged up by a bunch of skeletons. Had to use... You know what? Let's use this. There you go. Get three skeletons to fight by my side temporarily. We got a few vines over there that we need to take care of. Yeah, I'll try and take care of them in just a moment with the, the beacons. There you go. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't have that much uh, souls. Sheesh. Anyways, another skeleton right there. At least catch them on fire and do like 300-something damage, right? Uh, actually, I think that's when it's fully upgraded. I don't think that's fully upgraded right now, so that sucks. But, I don't know if I should save my souls to try and use the lightning rod again. We got some radiance right there, which is good. Ah, man. It's so hard to decide. But I can get right next to these guys and just chain these radiance together and not really ever take damage, which is great. <laughs> Look at this. I'm, I'm staying full health, which is amazing. Go keep that strength there, though. Because it looks like I might need it for... Maybe once we move up ahead, it looks like that might be a boss area up there, so it might be good to keep that for when we actually do that, you know? But, uh, yeah, look at that. That skeleton just died from flame or fire aspect right there, which is great. Got some radiance healed up right there. Amazing. Slowly starting to get some souls back. Yeah, we just got two souls right there, because remember, we're getting uh, plus two souls for everything that we kill, which is great. Because we have two soul things that they're uh, in our hot bar right now, which is awesome. But uh, it does look like we might need to, like, pull levers or something like that, or find a key. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hit these buttons. To open up the door, so there's probably going to be a second button on the other side. And that uh, also has a heckin' arrow on the side of his head. Sheesh. <laughs> Armored skeleton over here we're going to need to take out, though. But uh, let's go right next to him as we can. Try and take him out and get some radiance. There you go. Got some radiance. Healed me up for, like, 50 health. Not bad. Take down these regular skeletons. And, of course, take down these... What are they called? Mossy skeletons, I think they're technically called? 
Maybe. Am I close enough to where the- Oh, he's still able to hit me. There you go, he's down. Nice. And the other button. There you go. So it's opening up the other area. We take up that, uh, that strength potion. I don't know if those things ever despawn, but, uh, there you go. Once we're going into this new area, I feel like the strength potion might come into effect, so, uh, is there anything I might have missed over here? I don't think so. I think we're good. That's great. Now, do I want to switch out that, that totem, or, uh, that, that staff for another thing? Which would be... Death Cat, maybe... You know what? I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe the totem regeneration might be really good. Which hit 56 health healed. Maybe? This Love Medallion is really good and all, but, like... I guess, I guess I'll keep that, just in case we come across any more of those, uh, those, those leaf, leap leaves. That'd be really good. But this totem regeneration, just place it down and we just heal up whenever we're inside the area. That's good for an emergency, like, health situation, you know, and it doesn't require souls like the soul healer does. I don't hide an amulet, that's really good. I like that. Should I use that, though? I might. There you go. Let's use that. Just in case we come across, like, a sticky situation where we're about to heck get killed, we can take that iron hide and get some extra, uh... Armor rating, and we'll actually be able to take up more damage, which would be great. Man, look at the strength taking down these armored skeletons easily. Man, there you go, took him down. And th this guy, oh man, there's a uh, there's a man, I forgot the name of this guy. I don't know, I might have to see like an enchanted version of him to see his name. Oh, wait, there's an enchant. Wait, no, I guess they are like magical or so. Oh, whoa, what happened here? I just got trapped. Uh oh, it's a trap. Oh, how many things are going to Oh, creeper. Can I get, let's get him with the arrow. We haven't used our arrow at all. There you go. Baited out his explosion. Another creeper right there. Can I kill him? I can kill the creeper, but... Oh, my God. I'm taking the iron, whatever. There you go. I killed the creeper again. Oh, my God. There's so many creepers. Six more seconds of that extra protection from the iron hide. And I'm going to get the uh, potion. There you go. Potion barrier activated now. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're taking... Oh, nice. Killed the creeper with the other creeper. <laughs> or killed like three of them with one creeper, nice. But there you go, kill that skeleton, let's see what's inside of this chest. I didn't even look. Two secrets, eight chests. So we found two chests so far, no secrets thus far. So we're, we're making some progress. I don't know how long the second map is, hopefully it's not too long, right? I don't, I don't want to split it off into multiple episodes, but... There you go, the zombie down. Seems like there might be another path this way, because it's telling me to go up there for the, uh, the main mission. Uh, you know what, let's get the, uh, there you go, let's get the protection activated. Another, uh, hammer right there, which is actually red, so with a gray hammer. I don't know what level that'd be, but... I, f I forget what the gauntlet's right. Oh god, that thing's actually spawning in stuff. I need to watch out, I need to take a potion barrier. There you go, I just healed up. Kinda wanna, you know what, love medallion activated. There you go, I need to get right next to these vines and kill them. And I'm going to kill that, uh... Oh, I forgot what that guy was called, I keep forgetting it. I knew it, like... An episode or two ago or something like that. Or actually, like, last episode. Because I kept calling out their name, like, Leap Leaf and whatever else. Man, hitting the heck and also right there accidentally. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and of course, the really good thing about, like, turning enemies on my side is that, of course, they die after, like, ten seconds, which is awesome. There you go. Took that guy down pretty decently easily. Yeah, there's another one of those long corridors right there, which is kind of interesting. That kind of, like, drags you down a long corridor. To kind of bait you out to get loot, and, of course... To go through a, you basically have to run a gauntlet of enemies to hopefully survive long enough to actually get the loot, but thankfully it looks like we already got everything over there, which is great. Oh, whoops! Oh, nice, the ocelot didn't die right there. <laughs> so that's good, let's grab that soul. There you go. We still have three lives right now, which is great. We don't have to worry about that. And of course, the radiance is kicking out a ton right there. Did you guys see that? That was like eight times? Whoa! Man, that was real lucky. Remember, it's a one in five chance. 20%. And we just got it eight times in a row right there. And I think it might be because. The, the, the gauntlets, the maulers, attack so frequently, so fast. I'm going to get the, uh, there you go, iron, whatever, right there. And let's get right next to this thing. Let's try and kill this guy. There's two of them, actually. That's why there's so many of those vines spawning in. Holy heck, Radiance kicking in right there, healing me up hardcore. Fire aspect combo up to 80, and Radiance combo up to, like, 10 right there, which is crazy. Another chest with the farmer that's red, unfortunately. I guess I'll stop and check my actual armor. Oh, whoa, is this a... It is a cave. Ooh, it's an ocelot cave. Had an ocelot, like, head above its entrance right there. This is a big cave. That zombie has, like, a dagger right there. There you go. Strength potion. Nice. Let's not make it use... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a leap leaf. Time to get... There you go. Nice. Man, I love using that. That's so crazy. Kill that zombie instantly. Nice. And, of course, that guy's going to die here in just a moment, unfortunately. But, uh... Is it just one long, like, gauntlet just like what we had to get over here in the first place? I think it might be. Oh, creeper. Oh, man. Oh, I one shot that creeper. Nice. Oh, yeah, we, we do have strength, so that makes sense. Another uh, chest right there, which is great. I'm going to loot it here in just a moment. We still have strength. 
And nice. The final uh, second of strength actually able to kill that creeper with 500 damage. Nice. See what's inside. Oh, that's just emeralds. Okay, whatever. So we're up to four chests actually out of the eight. So we already have half the chests open already, which is great. What is this up here? Another boss battle or something? Because we've seen it. You know, boss battle slash mini boss battle, whatever you want to call it. Seems like some sort of arena. Maybe. Oh, yep, it is. I knew it. What are we going to have spawning in? Just a bunch of regular enemies? Okay, now if we don't have any Leap Leaf spawning in, I, I, that's fine. I'm not really too crazy about that. Let's, there you go. Got a Radiance right there. That's good. And we're getting... Oh, let's get that apple. Get some regen. Of course, we're taking some damage over time from the, uh, the poison. Speaking of poison, I'm going to try and take care of this guy over here. So we don't spawn any more of these poison vines. Of course, some Radiance kicking in right now to heal me up to full health. I was about to take a potion there, you guys. And I just healed up the... Man, you guys weren't lying. Radiance is a magic... <laughs> I just kicked that guy off the- I don't even, I, I think he'll still have a little bit of health, but he fell off the edge and of course that killed him right there. That was amazing. <laughs> Alright. Was- I- oh my- I think I just remember what this guy's name was for a split second and then I forgot it again. Man, that's- I'm not- I'm not going to remember it by the time we beat the second level. If we even do. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here, you guys. Did we just beat it? Because- yep, the chest just spawned in and the little victory, uh, little tone just happened right there. Nice. See, I, oh man, double Shadow Brood. Well, that would have been nice during that battle, but whatever. Shadow Brood are not really the best with something like Gauntlet Slash Maulers, because of course, you know, you attack so frequently with it. Uh, there is a... Wait, what is this? Wait, how do I... Is this just going to take me outside, or is this going to take me to that area? Huh. Let's go look at that here in just a moment, but I do want to cover all grounds over here. Just in case there's like another chest. Oh, yep, here we go, another emerald thing right there. Already over 300 emeralds right now, nice. Now we're under like, we're at like 81 or something like that when we started the level, right? So, we've already gotten a pretty good amount of emeralds thus far, it's amazing. Anyways, let's go over- oh, whoops, I accidentally just shot an arrow right there. Let's see what this takes us. Oh god, that was a trap, I knew it. <laughs> get the, uh, there you go, get the, uh, the shit. Oh, whoa, they actually exploded while I was gone? Two more chests? Now, are we- Okay, yep, that took us over here, that's cool. Thief armor that's actually green, and an axe that's yet or uh, red. I don't know why I almost said yellow right there. Jeez, uh, why did I go over there? So the armor, 460 health, and then uh, whoa. So if I'm wearing this thief armor, my melee attack speed goes up by a quarter, which makes these these maulers even crazier with the DPS. Holy, same thing with this one. It's just lower level. We're burning. We have potion berry. I love that. That's going to be great for thief armor because it doesn't have any uh damage reduction. So. That's gonna be good. Chilling. Blast, uh, rarity pulse. Pulls enemies towards you. I don't like that, you know? I really don't. But, like, if I have burning, I can lure them. It'll, it'll, it'll gravitate them towards me into my fire aura. And it does 10, actually 20 damage per second. Up to 62 damage per second, because it does it every half second. Hmm. These enchantments are good enough to where I'm going to keep it, but, I'm, of course, I'm going to salvage that. And of course, we have one, speaking of enchantment, we have one enchantment right now, we can actually do Potion Barrier on this one immediately. You get the five second duration of basically invincibility for five seconds after taking a potion, so I'd make up for, uh, you know, not having any damage reduction. And of course, we have about 100 more, actually 119 more health compared to this one, so would that also make up for the no damage reduction? Maybe. And of course, Gravity Pulse, which is powerful, so we get a lot of enchantments back if we, uh, if we salvage this, you guys, holy heck. And of course, we'll be able to roll a little bit uh, more, more a lot, lot faster too, because of course, with the cooldowns a lot uh, slower on this one, I just kind of got used to it, you know. So, the farmer, I like it. Oh yeah, if we we get either burning or potion barrier. Man, I really wish potion barrier was like, because I like burning. I, I like, I like potentially getting burning, and then of course also gravity pulse. A blast occurs every five seconds that pulls nearby enemies towards you. 100% range and then all the way up to 200% range. Actually get them in my burning radius and of course catch them on fire and do damage over over time with them, you know? I don't know. I'm not going to enchant anything right now, though. I think I'm, I'm going to keep it as is. There's a little bit more over here. We just- Oh wait, what in the world? How do we- How do we get over to the- The rest of this? Is it religious really decoration? It might be- Maybe- Possible. Some- What? Can I go on top of the- No, I just go through the chest. Yeah, because there's like uh, stone walls here that are that are preventing us from going over there. I guess it's just purely decoration. I can't go over to there, so that sucks. I guess it might just be all water with like lily pads anyway, so might not be missing out on anything really. But uh, that was two more chests. So we're up to, oh, I guess one of them was technically a secret chest. 
But five out of nine. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. No, those were secrets right there. Secrets found two out of two. Okay. So we're at five out of nine chests thus far. I guess I'll grab the just in case I come across any more anyways. Doubt I will, because we... Does that stack? I don't think it stacks, does it? It's always going to be 10 seconds, and I guess it just re-upped it back up to 10 seconds immediately. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. Oh, I should have... Man! I didn't see those guys respawn right there. Uh-oh. Well, there you go, spider. That, that, that vine guy actually kind of... You know what, you know what? Should I use... I'm going to use it anyways. There you go. Oh, whoa! Okay, yeah, he attacked me right there, but it did no damage because he was on my side. Nice. Man, I, I really wish to... Oh, oh, I got trapped! Man, I just took a massive damage right there. Just took a, a potion right there. Sheesh. And the guy just expired right there. Didn't think these enemies would respawn, but apparently... Oh, that's a lot of them right there. Holy big explosion. Man, that's a lot of enemies. Holy, going to get some beacon action. I'm just blindly shooting over there. Oh, my gosh. Man, it's going to be a while until I get potion again. Ah, eh, probably... There you go. Deactivate that. Let's see. Yeah, I can hit that guy with a bow. And he's dead. Just keep our distance and we'll be able to kill these guys, I'm sure. There we kill that guy too. Anything down here? And of course, yeah, remember, we do have Radiance, cause so it kind of incentivizes us to just kind of attack things to potentially get that 20% chance to heal us up decently. And let's get right next to this guy. And got Radiance. Double Radiance, nice. And got some Skeletons, just regular Poison Zombies here. And a uh, Poison Slash Mossy Skeleton, or uh, yep, Skeleton. <laughs> Just make sure I'm saying the right one. Because there's skeletons and zombies over here, too. So, oh, oh, he's spawning in vines around me, but he's being a little bit too late. He's being slow. Wait, what in the world? There's an ironwood brew over here? Or oakwood armor? Why'd I call it that? I don't know. But, I guess, oh, oh, there's a, okay, no leap leaf over here, which is good. I don't think. Watermelon right there, which is actually good. It lasts, like, what, 20 seconds? 15 seconds, I think, just looking at it right now, but. This guy's spawning in a ton of vines right now, which I'm not complaining about. I'm getting a lot of radiance. I'm getting souls from these vines. I didn't think these spawned in vines would drop souls, but I guess they do. Nice. Shadow Brew right there to do 224 and 400 something damage right there. Holy heck, that was amazing. Oh, man. Anyways, I guess we survived that many dungeon right there, which is great. Now, how much more of this map do we have? Because that was a pretty good little, little, like, detour we did right there. But holy heck. We, we only just got started with this map. And we're like 40 minutes into the second recording session thus far at the 38 minute mark as I'm recording this bit right here. I think we spent like 18 minutes or something like that before we actually went into the map. So I guess we're only like 20 minutes into the actual map itself, I suppose you could say. <laughs> Sheesh. It's down there, a creeper. I thought it was. I guess I hit these. Yeah, I'm like, we're getting a lot of arrows right now. Remember, the hunting bow only takes one arrow per shot compared to like the exploding bow that, that takes like three or four arrows per shot, right? So. Oh, yeah. Did I even explore all this yet? I mean, we already technically, supposedly got all the secrets already. Look how fast I can kill these regular zombies already. It's crazy. But I don't think I did cover all ground over here. I might as well look, even though we technically got both secrets. There may be more secrets that we haven't even discovered just yet. There's a uh, emerald thing right there, though. I don't know why the emeralds just shoot out in the direction like that. It's crazy. They just, like, I miss out on the emeralds right there, which sucks. Let's grab that strength potion, because there may be stuff up here. Not right here, though, because we already cleaned that out, but, like, up here. Yep, there's a skeleton. Armored skeleton. Let's go right next to him. Did 112 damage right there. Doing double damage for 30 seconds. Getting some ray heat. We're just bouncing them all over the place right there, you guys. That was crazy. If we had the death cap mushroom, man, our DPS would be through the roof. Killing this guy easily. God, he's going flying and glitching and stuff. you think we'd be able to one-shot regular skeletons, but I'm like, we only have gauntlets right now, slash maulers. So, of course, our, our damage comes... With the swiftness of our weapon speed, right? Not really the up front, front damage. There you go. We're still gathering a good amount of souls, even though we're have a huge like soul like wallet. I guess you'd call that down there. <laughs> soul bank wallet, whatever you want to call that down there, because it, it it takes a lot longer for us to fill that up. I remember earlier on in the series we had like three soul things at once, gathering three souls per creature or something crazy. And oh god, there's a lot of uh. But we'll, we'll be able to at least light him on fire and do some damage over time. There you go. But the soul, like, bar down there got filled up so quickly down there. Like, it'd be, like, full. Like, right after I empty it, it's already heckin' full, which is crazy. But I think it might scale with your level. Like, we're, like, level 30-something now. So our soul thing has, like, more capacity, I guess you could say. So that's kind of crazy. Still staying to go that way. So I think this way might be another secret slash loot slash cave slash nothing. <laughs> Could just be nothing. And it... Oh, it's a uh, trap. It's a dungeon. Slash whatever you want to call it. Just emeralds here and then you go and spawn in some stuff. What's it going to be? Leap Leafs? Creepers? Skeletons? Nothing? Ocelots? Oh, zombie. 
Okay, regular zombies, I can take those on. Spider right there? Yep, you missed. There you go, you're dead now. Oh, creepers now. Oh, 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 leap leaf there. Hold on. There you go, got him on my side right there. I actually have a creeper on my side. He's going to go kill that skeleton. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What else is around here? Oh, armored zombie right there. That guy's about to despawn right now, though. Yep, he's down. He's down, unfortunately. So I've cooled down for the- Oh, 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 hold on. Is that a leap leaf? No, it's not. Okay, that's good. Ooh. I forgot what those guys were called. Man, it is really bothering me, but- Man, the radiance is crazy. We're up to 10 right there. You guys see that? I was at like a quarter health. Healed all the way up to full right there, which is insane. Man, well, at least we're going to finally take out this guy, so that's good. Is that all of them? Yep, there you go. That's going to be chest number six. No, wait. Yep, I guess so, because... Whoa, another tr a trick bow that's actually green? What? Uh, what's this at? Power, infinity... Oh, yeah, yeah, I keep forgetting that infinity's not like, uh... And then supercharge. You do 20% increased damage, tempo theft, and then gravity uh, punch. Mm, not crazy about punch, but power, yeah, I am. About that. It's kind of crazy. I'm like, the trick bow is always fun to use. Oh, I guess it's, uh, it's green because it's a higher power level than this. This is 44, this is 47. It's multiple enemies, 46 and 93 damage. Of course, we can get that up higher with the supercharge if we do two full pullback. Do like over 100 damage, so. I don't know if I want to do that, though. If anything, maybe I'll use a firebolt thrower. Just kind of meme around with that a little bit, because we have a lot. Yeah, even with this, we have 180 ammo, so. This is going to be pretty fun. I do have an enchant, though, so I could put it on this. What would I do, though? Punch? No. Power? Maybe. Bur uh, radiant shot? Nah. 29 health yield? Yeah, I'm like, it only does it, like, around the enemy that dies, though, right? And then gravity pulls enemies towards the impact point. Tempo theft. I'd probably end up doing, like, power or something like that. 10% more damage, so it would do, like, 220-something damage. 228, basically. 229-ish. I guess I could do that. And then, of course, it goes up to 21% and then 33, so it actually scales up decently right there, you guys. Not bad. And then, of course... Chance of a chain reaction, which is really good. I I've seen that happen off camera, which is awesome. So maybe I'll do power. Punch, I'm not too crazy about that. And of course, radiance. It seems like it only spawns it around like the actual impact point. So let's do power on this one. So there you go. Power one on this exploding firebolt thrower bow thing. With a chance to actually spread around. And I think even the, uh, the, the spread or whatever, the chain or whatever it's called, is basically what the chain lightning uh, enchantment is, which is really cool. So this basically already has a chain lightning installed on it. I never looked at it, though, but uh, the, the Maulers look crazy. They look like heckin' Bear Claws, and of course they're enchanted. They're, they're glowing with the enchantment, like, purple. It's kind of crazy. Got some regular skeletons and stuff up here. Just shoot. Oh, yeah, it is a uh, crossbow, by the way. So I can just shoot it immediately, and just it just heckin' explodes, which is crazy. There, go kill that guy. Nice. Man. Of course, this it does have a firework sound, too, because it's, it's like a flame whatever thrower or whatever it's called. I forget what it was called. Uh, actually, I think it might be... be because it explodes, that's why it's uh, called a, or it makes a firework sound. That might be why, actually. I just never really put two and two together, I suppose. I know, let's kill this guy. There you go. Kill this little spawn in thing, which I think still drops a soul, which is crazy because it's spawned in. Uh, yep, it just dropped a soul right there. Picking that bad boy up. What do we actually see how many souls I had? That'd be crazy to see, like, an actual number. Anyway, it sounds like a lot of enemies up here. Yep, just regular zombie. Armored zombie. Now, there's a thing over there. Got him with the explosion. Hit him again. Nice. Yeah, let's hit him again. Got him. One more hit should take him down. So we do Oh man, I hit a thing. And he's down. Nice. Actually, hit these zombies right here. <laughs> oh, that killed all those. Yeah, look at that. We do 229 damage now with that thing just like I anticipated. So that's good. So that way is where we have to go. Let's kind of go where we want to go and go over here and potentially get some egg and loot, you guys. There you go. Knock the heckin' skeleton off the map. Kill that zombie easily. Anything over here secret-wise? Anything going to spawn? Nope, nothing. Okay. Right. I grab that soul. Another uh, zombie right there. Mossy zombie slash poison zombie. Jungle zombie. Whatever you want to call it. Anything over here? Is, is it just trap or... Can I fall down there? That takes me somewhere? I, I'm kind of tempted to. Now remember, if we fall out of bounds, we just lose health. It's not like we actually die, so it might be... Yeah, it, see, it has an edge, though. So, to fall down there, I have to, I have to roll and then... Yeah. I, I don't think there's actually anything down there, unfortunately. So that sucks. But let's go this way and continue traversing towards the second temple. Try and actually find the shard of the orb of dominance. And I suppose we're going to find yet another shard over in the Oh man, this is actually going to prepare me for a potential boss battle, I feel, because it's giving me a supply chest. But I think we're going to find another shard over in the Arctic uh, DLC that we're probably going to have uh, next month slash the month after. Whoop, gotcha. Nice. Oh, gotcha again. And tickle tickle. And thank you very much for the health. Thank you very much for that six heckin' radiance right there. Jeez. That is crazy. Radiance plus Mauler slash Gauntlets. 
is insane, you guys. We're up to 208 arrows now that we... Oh, man, there's a button right there. Need to watch out for that, but uh, you know what? I might... Ah, the Radiance. I was about to say, I'm going to take that, like, extra armor thing, but I don't need it. The Radiance is really kicking in crazy right now. Like, I'm... Oh, whoops, I did not mean to hit that... Are they going to start enemy spawning in? Or does it just open up that gate? I think it just opens up the gate. Okay, that's good if that's, if that's the case, but... There you go. Just kill this guy, get some more souls up to 109. I can fight. And then a fire, uh, a radius right there. Just kind of as a little cherry on top, I guess you could say. <laughs> and, uh, yep, this is a battle arena, all right. Behold the jewel! There's a jewel in the middle. We need to get to it. Is there anything going on? Oh my god, that thing is huge. Got him. Uh oh. Is the, uh, abomination, jungle abomination going to spawn in now? Because that's what the narrator kind of uh, alluded to. Is going to be in this map as, like, the boss of the map. I think I might be able to... Yep, kill the creeper right there. Nice. It was already down a little... Oh! What was that sound? I just heard some sort of sound right there, which is crazy. Nice little explosions here. Get these guys at least do some damage and, of course, kind of spread them out as well, which is good. Kill that spider. Got him. Anything else around here? Uh-oh, we got Leap Leafs. I'm going to try and lure that one. And there you go. Oh, man, that other one over there. Is that one on my... Oh, it is. Nice, nice. I was about to say, I don't know if I was actually close enough to that, uh... Get them on my side right there, but I guess I was. Kill these spiders. Two Leap Leafs on my... If we can get through this wave and have them... Oh, no, they just expired. Man! That'd be really fun if they could actually last to the actual boss battle, if it's even during this. Oh, we got one of these guys right here, though. There you go, took him down. Yep, there you go. And take down this vine right here, too. And there's another one over there we need to take out. Nah, I didn't get the, uh, the whatever right there. It's souls, though, so that sucks. Kind of despawned itself. Oh, uh, Swiftness Potion. I think we have... Nope, nope, we don't have anything right now. I thought we had a strength, but I think it's just Swiftness. Can't even see anything right there. Oh, we didn't even get the swiftness. It's still sitting there. There we go. <laughs> Kill this guy. And he's down. And his things are still here, though. But, uh, uh oh, we got more Leap Leafs. And boom, all of them are on my side. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. I'm like, oh, we're, we're fighting right now. It's just zombies and stuff. But, uh, oh, God. Look at him killing these vines over here, too. It's crazy. Let me kill this guy up here. There we go. At least do some damage to him. Hit him with an explosion. Uh, oh, <laughs> I killed the things on the other side. I thought that would have been a boss battle. I guess it was just an ambush. Slash gauntlet, slash whatever you want to call it. So there you go. Take that watermelon to heal up even though I'm full heckin' health. <laughs> I have a rampaging thing right now? What? That must be one of the, uh, the perks of this. Relentless combo, maybe? Hmm. That might be, because it is a unique item. Remember, it is a variant. Or, uh, a unique, slash, rare, slash, whatever you want to call it. So that's really interesting. Oh, a thing over here. So there you go. I do really, I, I wish it showed you the actual damage per second you do, because 56, 56, 56, and then like a 70-something there mixed in as well, which is, it's just crazy, and of course with the death cap, it's going to be even higher with that, but yeah, unfortunately we can't see that, so that sucks. But we did just get a, uh, a gem slash jewel or whatever right there, which is really, really cool. Now, how are we doing chest-wise now? Two out of two secrets, six out of ten chests. So we're a little bit more halfway on the chest thing, and of course we have both secrets right now. There may be a third secret around here, too. You never know. But how far are we to actually beating this? I don't know. It looks like we're going to wrap around here. Seems like there's going to be more enemies up here. Anything crazy? Sounds like there might be. Like a leap leaf. I don't know. There's a creeper right there, though. Oh, we might be able to beat... Oh, yep. Beat out his explosion. That's good. Speaking of explosion... Boom! Got that creeper with an explosion. How do you like it? Taste of your own medicine there, Hater. And you're down. Nice. Anything else over here? Because it sounds like there might have been something over here. Yeah, I can hear, like, something breathing or something. I guess it's just these zombies making that noise, huh? Anything here going to spawn in? Nope, I don't think so. Okay, whatever. Yep, I think that's it for this area, so let's continue up here. Go to the temple center. Tangle in the temple. Yeah, well, I guess... I, I guess these things are kind of a blessing and a curse. Kind of annoying when they pop up like that, and of course they can kind of backfire and trap you in situations where you kind of want to run away, you know? But at least they give you souls, and we'll be able to use the beacon a little bit more often now, which will be really cool. There you go, take down that thing, get some swiftness, kill this guy. There you go. Get right next to this thing, get some heckin' radiance to heal ourselves right back up. Yep, there you go. To make up for all the damage we're actually taking. And those guys are down now. Two of these guys right here. I don't want to be right next to their heckin' vines, and we get trapped. But there you go, that one's down. That vine can't hit me. There you go, hit him. Hit him with an explosion, too, to kill him. <laughs> nice. And the else over here? Is that vine still over here? Nope, he despawned. All right. And the else over here? No chest, no secrets. I think we're good. All right, let's continue on. Yeah, I think that's just the sound these guys make. I think I thought it was like Leap Leaf or something. But uh, there you go. Take down that skeleton, take down that zombie, get some Radiance, heal up. I'm really, really liking Radiance, you guys. Like, we had it. Oh, a pig with a, uh, a thing. 
A chest. Nice. Let's kill that pig. I just got a lot of ra Man, we just comboed like four ra- Seven radiance off that pig. Ocelot armor. Why do these pigs always drop ocelot armor? It's kind of crazy. Like, it's not a coincidence, is it? Like, it seems like they always drop ocelot armor. <laughs> like, I never even- I, I, I might have tested it out like once, but I've never actually, like, seriously used ocelot armor. There you go. Let's, let's do an explosion down there and get some explosions on all those guys. Some, uh... What do we call it? AoE. Nice. There you go. Take these guys out. There's also a pathway. Yep. Oh, wait. No, this is actually the bonus pathway. That other pathway is where we have to go, actually. So let's continue down here and actually see if there's anything else over here. Another dungeon. Another, uh, chest. There's four more chests we've apparently missed out on this far. Uh, no. Oh, wait. It's another trap. That's going to Yep. That's going to trigger. And it just shut. What's it going to be? I'm going to try and stay away from whatever it's going to be. Just two creepers. Uh, three creepers, actually. That creeper just explode. Oh, man. I'm getting the iron thing. I just... Oh, my God. I almost died. Holy. At least we have a potion barrier right now, which is good. But, man, we're taking a lot of damage. Creepers are on my side now, temporarily. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Almost just died there. Holy heck. I'm really, really low. Thankfully, I took some of those creepers on my side there. At least temporarily to kind of... You know, lure the other creepers a little bit further away from me and kind of bait out their explosions as well, which is kind of crazy. Creepers baiting out creeper explosions. But that should be chest number seven, right? Uh, a seven out of eleven, so I guess we're still four chests away from all of them, which sucks. So we're going to be a little while until we actually get the, uh, the whatever you call it, the potion regenerated. Uh, oh, enchanted creeper right there. We need to watch out. That thing's going to do a lot of damage. I guess I could just kind of do that. There you go. And I can heal myself up. Get a little bit of potion barrier. And just bait it out as enchanted explosion. That's good. Let's do a potion barrier for another second, but I'm not going to do it. Actually, oh yeah, I can't I can't use the thing. The love medallion. Because these guys are, uh, enchanted guys are uh, impervious to it, I think, right? Because we tested that on an enchanted zombie a little while ago. And yeah, you saw that right there. It, it expl- Oh, whoa, whoa. I could try and bait out as an explosion, but remember our, our roll takes a lot longer to do now with this armor. But that was really cool. You guys saw... That happened right there? Can I have it happen again? Where he kind of like chains up. Yep, right there. Nice. And took him down with melee. Nice. But yeah, hit him with the explosion. And then, of course, it shoots out explosions in five directions. Kind of like the uh, the chain reaction. And those also do explosions, which is really cool. Hit this guy with an explosion. Hit that guy with an explosion. Try and take these guys down. Creeper. Man. He actually exploded right there, but he didn't do any damage to me, which is great. Hit that guy. Got another vine over here we can take down, but... We're getting some lot of lot of reward. The five, seven, eight radiance combo right there, man. That is amazing. Full health throughout the entirety of that. Awesome stuff. And of course, we're taking a little bit of damage right now, but we're healing it right back up thanks to radiance, and that's a level up. Man, we got ourselves another enchantment point. What are we going to spend it on this time? Another thing for our uh, enchanted bow or crossbow, whatever you want to call it. I guess I'll check here in just a moment. Let's see. Uh, seems like a relatively safe position we could actually look at the, uh, the stuff, so... What else do we have over here? Gravity? I guess. If I want to hit them with the, uh, explosions to potentially... I don't know, maybe. But if, oh yeah, I need two enchants for that, though. Ooh. Yeah, I can't afford anything else. Everything is already enchanted for both, uh, tiers. What if we're ever going to get a third, uh, enchantment thing? That's probably going to be only for Apocalypse difficulty, I bet. That'd be crazy. Or maybe, like, at the end of Adventure difficulty, right? 